Welcome back guys, John Lar here with my new Minecraft survival series. This is Mystic Blade mod pack and yes, there will be a link in the description with the list of all the mods that are in this mod pack, but I'm not about to read through them because there are so many of them. But essentially what this mod pack is, it is a RPG based hardcore questing mod. So we will have a quest book to go through what we're going to be doing and stuff, um, you know, as we go through and do all kinds of stuff. Actually, yeah, I can't, I don't, I don't feel like trying to read through the list of mods because there's a lot of them. There are a lot of mods. Um, as you can tell right now, Biles of Plenty, uh, Valea up on the top there. Lots of cool things, and I'm excited to get started with this. So, one thing just about the series before we actually go here, it looks like we're in Cherry Biome. Um, with this series, I want to drive for a lot of uh, viewer engagement because I feel like this is the perfect, you know, survival series is, are like this, are like the perfect series to drive for fan engagement. And um, I think I could, you know, really use a lot of your guys' input on what I do with this mod. And I think that that will make this series just that much better. All right, what is this? A mushroom garden. That gave me a whole bunch of mushrooms, okay. What does this white mushroom do? Okay, apparently it grows, oh, okay. I don't know what just happened. Let's let's keep getting more wood here. Uh, we'll check out the quest book in just a second. But yeah, I, I, think, I think this is a great series to drive for some viewer engagement and get lots of you guys commenting and all of that just to sort of get a lot of interaction between the series and you and you know we don't have to be so distant about it because this is I'm just I'm playing the game but that doesn't mean that I'm playing the game and you guys aren't watching so I want to try and make it seem as much like you guys are here in the experience with me as possible so I don't know what I'm doing right now I guess I'm just sort of running around let's let's actually look at the map Oop. wrong button uh, did my controls get all messed up yeah, they did. Okay, not sure why, but uh, looks like there's some stuff over this way. Maybe we'll go over this way and then we'll check out our quest book in just a second, see what we have to do for the quests. But food, food could be an issue right now, except there's pigs here. Die. Oh yeah, got damage indicators apparently. Cool, a little bit of lag. All right, come on, pig. Thank you. What is this? Desert Nova flower of some sort from what what mod uh, apparently I can't place it anywhere okay well you know what this looks like a good place um, to check out our quest book so here's the quest book so mystic blade hardcore questing mod pack um, realm of mystic yeah whatever <laughs> misgardia uh, yeah all of this that we have here yeah, I don't feel like reading through this. You guys can read through this if you want. It pretty much just sort of explains... This one's more about the multiplayer side of it, but we don't have that, so... Yeah, it's a hardcore questing mod pack, as I said, so you, when you die, you lose one of your lives here. Uh, we only have 15 of them, apparently. I need two tier... I think some of this stuff is multiplayer-based, because there's a server for it and stuff, but... Let's see. Click here to show quests. Click there. Weapon of choice. Okay on that okay this selection you'll be able to acquire your first weapon and perform tasks of heroism in order to upgrade it be warned you only have you'll ooh, you only get to choose one weapon from here once chosen the other paths will become locked so choose wisely oh my which weapon you want open so okay so I have a stick by another name about another name. As a young child, you would always pretend that six were your sword. Sword in this. It is time to make that fantasy a reality. Using a simple stick, you can finally forge your own weapon and begin the journey as a real hero of Misgardia. Crafting task: reward of bronze coins. Uh. Okay. Oh, it's a crafting task. So I have to. Just, I have to make one stick. We can do that. Oh, it's nighttime. Uh, let's just dig ourselves a little hidey hole here. Um, 
sort of get down here and we'll craft our stick and see what the other quests here are. Looks like the other quests were based on different weapon groups. And it sounds like we have to make a choice already in this series. We already have to make choices. I don't want to make choices. Especially not on what weapons I decide to make. <laughs> ah, man, this is gonna be it's gonna be rough. Alright. Let's just get our dirt here and block this off. It'll be daytime soon enough, we can watch the mini-map. Um, Alright, let's make a stick. Okay, got four sticks there. So how do I do this? I am a little new with this whole thing. Oh, okay, right there, so I can claim reward. Okay, yeah, I played a little tune there. Go back. Okay, so we have the other options here. I need, I just realized, I really need to eat this, like, now. Oh, what? I got, what is this? new food thing. I don't know what that was. It was weird. I don't even know where I closed this off from. I think it was here. Nope. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe over here. I, I, I really don't know. I kind of trapped myself in a room. Uh, is it over here? Yeah, right here. Let's break this so I don't forget. Alright, let's see what we have here. So, looks like we get to choose one of these. And it sounds like everything else, once we choose one of these, is locked. So we got our bronze coins. Alright. We can go ranged blades, pole arms, blunt weapons, or wands and staves. Let's just look. By choosing to craft a wand or staff, you have chosen the path of, ma of the mage. Powerful and dangerous magic lies in you. Not so distant future, you already harness their power. Oh my. Alright. Okay, ooh, some runescape stuff. <laughs> Didn't know we had that. Iron cap equipment. Ah, I don't the choices. There's gonna be choices here though. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be tough for me. Alright, blunt weapons. Choosing to craft a blunt weapon, you've chosen to pass berserker. Uh so do we no, I'm definitely not doing that one. That's one I'm definitely not doing. Uh pole arms. Ooh, this could be interesting. By choosing to craft a pole arm, you have um, chosen the path of the lancer, wielding a weapon. Long reach allows you to stay enemies from a slightly longer range to keep them out of harm's way. And I can choose to either have a trident, a halberd, or a spear of stone. Uh, what are some of the other options we have here? Uh, blades, so swords, scythes, no. Blades, uh, daggers. Ooh. This, is, this looks fun, but... I don't know. Let's see what else we have. We have the ranger option then too. Man, I really want to go with this one, I can already tell. By choosing to craft a bow or gun, you have chosen the way of the ranger. Lay waste to your opponents from afar while your companions hold off the front lines, allowing you to deliver death from a distance. <sighs> Man, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kinda, I'm looking at the mage, the pole arms, or the ranged. I just feel like I always go with ranged for like everything. So I almost feel like it'd be kinda cool to try pole arms or wands and staves, even though that, that's technically kind of uh, ranged, but it's not like bows. I mean, I could always go with like the gun or the boomerang here, but, um, that is boomerang, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. Oh, actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments to tell me what to choose. What? I mean, this, I want to drive for fan engagement here, viewer engagement, whatever. Um, this would be the perfect way to do that. So, how do you guys want to see this series turn out? What do you guys want me to do? Do you want me to use wands and staves and become a mage? Do you want me to become a berserker? Uh, become a lancer? Become a, what did they say? A blade master? Or a ranger? What do you guys want me to try and do? Uh, leave comments in the comment section below. I'll try and get a majority thing, but if I, I hope that you know I might only get a couple comments and they might be all saying different things. In that case, I'll just have to choose. But try and try and you know we'll try and get a majority vote sort of thing. And I really wish that it would be daytime so that we get get working here. Uh, let's just convert all of these. Let's make a cracking table. Oh, I heard something. Yeah, let's close this again. Actually, I'm going to leave that one open just so I can tell what time it is. Uh, let's make a wooden pickaxe so that we are 
ahead of things here. Time to mine achievement. So let's start mining. Get some stone. Yeah, there's so many mods in this. We've already run into marble from the chisel mod, so we'll be able to do lots of building. Um, I love building, especially all these things. We're running into all kinds of stuff. We've got Thomcraft, Ars Magica, uh, all kinds of stuff. There's just so many things, but it's this. Blue Topaz from Ars Magica. Alright. I, I don't know these mods very well either. I don't do a whole lot with mods, so this should be uh, an interesting endeavor. So I've gotten an upgrade. Can I mine this stuff now? Cannot. Alright, I'll just have to wait. Let's get some marble, why not? What is this? Some other ore from Mars Magica. What time is it? Where is the moon? Okay, it's almost daytime. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna pick up our stuff and start heading out. We'll be a bit risky here. I know it is a hardcore mod pack, and we gotta be careful, but I, I don't I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. I'll be completely honest. Uh let's just check the map. Is there anywhere? Oh, I heard something. Oh, that's this with the mod that makes all the sounds. Oh, this is cool. A shimmer leaf from Domcraft. A little bit of light here. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna stay by this here. And let's just see here. Can I zoom out here? All right, there. Wow, this is a very large biome. Uh, let's just see. That's the most zoomed out I can go. When I have my big map, I wanna be zoomed out. So, whoa, uh, X. Uh, this is scary. Poison. Okay. I'm poisoned, apparently. <laughs> okay. Not sure what kind of spider that was. Oh, something's burning. A baby fire skeleton. What? What? What is this? What are these? What are these? Fire skeletons? Um, Enderman there. Uh, skeleton there. Maybe this was a bad idea. I should have just hid. I didn't know there were baby fire skeletons. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. Looks like we've run into another biome, which is good. Um, maybe. Maybe it's not. I really don't know. Let's use these over here to get across. Oh, what? What is this? A ghost spider? What? What is this? Am I being haunted now? By spiders? Ghost spiders? Die. What did you drop? You dropped green crafting clay. Oh, oh the water sounds. Alright, well, it's daytime now, but there's like mobs everywhere over there this this seems like a nicer biome that one looked pretty but it doesn't it doesn't act pretty there's like baby fire skeletons and ghost spiders and ugh, lava there okay <laughs> all right let's let's see what we can find here wild carrot can i eat wild carrots diminishing returns what Okay, diminishing returns. It. Oh, what? Whoa! Like, like, so I can eat this food more than once. I don't. I'm not sure what he's saying. What that was saying. I, I really don't know. Okay, getting some lag spikes probably as it loads in more land here. It's all right though. We're just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, walnut. What can I get from a walnut? I don't lag normally, but mod pack. What is that? There's a thing over here. Some sort of building. And lots of lag, but copper or coal. Let's get some coal. It's like every block I move, I lag more. This is kind of weird. All right, let's just get some of the coal here. Coal, it's just normal coal. It's gonna be useful in smelting stuff and doing all that. So always a good idea to grab coal. The series will probably start out kind of slow, as you can tell, it'll be sort of like a normal survival, but I, I'm sure as we get into some of these quests and stuff, there will be lots of interesting things. So let's go find what's in this, whatever this thing is. Can I break it? Uh, maybe I'm not supposed to break it, okay. <laughs> oh, there's a door right here. Okay, looks like a little abandoned rune sort of thing. Nothing, nothing here. Maybe is there a chest in here somewhere? Maybe down a layer? There's something here. 
It's all barred off. Well, what is... Oh, okay. What is up with this light? We gotta look into this. Uh, I don't see anything that should be affecting my... I, I don't see anything that should be affecting my FPS like this, but... I'm getting some really bad lag spikes. What are these sounds? Oh, whoa, there's... Spawners down here. This is some sort of like a dungeon. I don't know what that is. I'm not really sure I want to know. It's like a, another fire skeleton. This one looks peaceful, but I have a feeling we should just leave this. Uh, I think I, I can leave a waypoint. I'm not sure what key I have it set at. Um, you know, options, controls. Waypoint key is B. So, waypoint name, done. Here is our waypoint for hidden place. <laughs> the hidden place. Uh, this lag is going to make it very annoying to go up these stairs, but I'll, I'll figure out what's up with this lag. Hopefully, it shouldn't be an issue. It wasn't an issue until I came into this biome, so maybe it's a biome thing or something. Not really sure. Hope it's not too annoying for people watching. It's kind of annoying to play with, but reasonable. Okay, let's go over here. See, this is like the biome that shouldn't be lagging. <laughs> the one without all the special stuff. Except there's a lot of mobs there. Maybe that has an effect on it. I don't know. Oh, there's things right over here, too. Apparently, there's like a, a dispenser here with a bunch of fireworks. <laughs> uh... More fireworks? More fire- what is this? Is this for like when I complete the dungeon? Is it supposed to like give me a bunch of fireworks and it just glitched and there's like a a giant thing? I don't know, maybe we should look into this. Let's just dig down and see. Why not, right? Uh, we can leave some of them I guess, but why not use some fireworks? I'm probably going to end off this episode, figure out what's up with this lag. But remember to tell me in the comments what um, quest weapon thing I should pursue. And we're going to launch some fireworks. Whoa. And the lag spikes make the fireworks kind of sad. But let's just launch all the fireworks. More fireworks. I just dropped them because of the lag. Whoa. Yeah, different types of fireworks. Different types of fireworks. So many fireworks. Yay. Wow, there's like so many fireworks there. I mean, because this is just one of the part of one of the dispensers. We have fireworks for days. We're celebrating the beginning of the series. With all the fireworks. All the fireworks. We're celebrating the lag. That for some reason I'm getting. I don't think it has anything to do with the fireworks. <laughs> Alright, this is our last stack. I think. Boom. Yay, that's all the fireworks. Alright, well, yeah, leave those comments with what weapons I should pursue in case you need a quick um, rebrief here on what there is. There's these options. And, yeah, I guess I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Get out of here. Get out of here, please. Get out of here. John.